Well, welcome back. How are you feeling? Good. How you doing? Good. So I know you were supposed to fight last month. Now you're fighting now. Can you talk to me a little bit about that change up when you found out about it and all the details there? Uh, definitely disheartening. Um, <clears throat> spent a lot of time, a lot of money, uh, missed a lot of stuff. Um, I had a birthday and had to skip, anniversary had to skip, and didn't really get rewarded in that. So it was definitely a, you know, a punch to the stomach. But um, I, I obviously got this opportunity, so uh, I was only sad for a few days. <laughs> was part of that sadness obviously the pay and not being able to fight, but now you're not going to be fighting in front of a crowd. Was that part of it as well? Yeah, yeah, that one hurt. If there was any a time to kind of suck up an in injury, it would be, it'd be, it'd be that card. Um, so definitely uh, sad I, I missed out on that opportunity. But, I mean, that's the way things go. And I have this opportunity. I have a really good opponent in front of me. Um, so I'm very excited. Can you talk to me a little bit about how you were proposed for this fight? When did you know that this fight was happening? Was it, like, right when you knew that one was falling apart or when in the timeline? Um, I, think, uh, I think I got that, that, that fight maybe a week later. Yeah, so I, I took a week off, um, got my body together, and then um, was told uh, about that fight. So I immediately jumped right back into, into camp. You didn't get fat during that week because a lot of fighters eat and they think they're not going to have a fight for a while. No, not at all. Not at all. I think I may have lost weight. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you get to end up celebrating the birthday and the anniversary or is no. that still on no, hold? No, not yet. Not yet. Everything was on hold. So That's crazy. Is yeah. that hard when you're in a fight knowing like all these sacrifices that you've given up? Does that put extra pressure on you to perform during that fight? Uh, yes and no because you want it to be worth it. So you always want to get the win you know, when you make those sacrifices. But at the end of the day, it's part of the job. You, know, you can't really get to this level without sacrifices. So it's not really something I can brag about. Talk to me about this opponent. What did you think when you got the name? I was pretty excited. Um, he's a guy uh, that's headlined before. Uh, he's in the video game. Uh, so he has a really good team behind him. So it's a, it's a really good opportunity for me to show that my skills are up to par and I, and I belong. What sort of fight are you expecting from him? I think this is going to be the best Edmund ever, you know. Um, people can look at his record and, and say whatever they want, but he's still a part of a really good team. He's been putting in work. He's got to um, see that champion level um, camp with Sean. Uh, so I think I'm going to get the best Edmund, and uh, I'm prepared for that. And I know you don't want to look too far past this opponent, but do you have goals for 2024 that you're setting? Absolutely. I want to, you know, make my mark, let it be known that I'm here in the 85 division and um, work my way through the ranks. And I think this fight with Edmund is going to be a great opportunity to showcase that. And last one for me, just a silly one. I'm not sure if you realize there's a new uh, sponsor, Sheer Text, which is they make tights. And I'm just oh. curious, have you requested your free pair of tights yet? <laughs> I had actually uh, not yet, but uh, um, if, if they're sponsored by or if they're sponsoring the UFC, um, I'm, I'm sure they're really good. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jay, just a quick one. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you don't train with uh, Mark Coleman anymore, but I just wanted to know uh, your, your your thoughts on, you know, Mark and his his just how much of a hero he is. Yeah, I mean, it, it just shows you what kind of guy Mark Coleman is. I was very scared, you know, especially seeing those pictures of him with the tubes and everything like that. Um, but you know hearing the story saved his parents and you know couldn't really save his dog lost his lost his child at home so you know very unfortunate for such a legend but it shows the character of that guy you know he came in he saved his parents he went in to save his dog you know so um i have no problem me, me and coleman are still really cool even though you know he he trains at the gym that i don't train at anymore but um i just wish nothing but the best for coleman and uh you know i just hope he comes out of this better and i know he will we all know he will so thanks man thank you just a quick one. Your keys to the victory. What needs to happen to make sure you get your hands raised on Saturday? Uh, put the pressure on him. Um, make sure I'm going forward. Make sure I'm dictating the pace. Uh, take away his weapons and um, impose my will. What do you see as, as his biggest weapons? I know a lot of people think his striking is good, but he's, not, he's no slouch on the ground as well. Where do you see as his biggest dangerous part? Um, his biggest danger is kind of getting guys to fight at his rhythm. You know, any time that he's lost is when guys disrupt his rhythm, put him on the back foot, and make him uncomfortable in there. He's the type of guy that likes to be pretty and likes to kind of, you know, show flashy stuff. So if you kind of stay in his face and, and make it a fight, you have a better chance. So that's the plan for this weekend. Is that the kind of fight you like? Do you like to take it to your opponent and Absolutely. really push the, push the pace on him? Oh, yeah, and it's not me being a tough guy. It's more anxiety than anything yeah. else. I, I want to get the fight going right now, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be in his face, in his chest, and uh, I'm going to be in there. 
you know, it's funny, we hear fighters sometimes, you know, come back and complain. They say, I just couldn't get going, I just couldn't get going. What do you do right before the fight to get you ready to, so that you can go zero to 100, right, when the fight starts? The biggest thing is not burning out, you know, not um, getting too jacked, not listening to too crazy music, staying calm until it's time to, to, be, to be not calm, you know. Um, so that's been the biggest thing for me, just staying calm, staying, um, uh, you know, in a good mindset, and then when it's time for chaos, you know, let chaos go. So now I'm interested to see what your what your walkout song going to be. What's your walkout song going to be? Uh, the same one as last. Everything nice by uh, by Popcon. A nice calm, cool <laughs> song to get me nice and calm walking up to the cage. And then right when I get in there, right when I see him, that's when I can turn it on. That's awesome. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you.